right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. State your name for the record. John S. Quarterman. That's Cousins and Sam. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Quarterman, do uh, you reside in the state of Georgia? I do. In Lowndes County, Georgia, on the same land I grew up on. Yes, sir. And do you uh, recreate from time to time in the Suwannee River in Florida? I do. There's a stream on my property runs into the Lithicucci and into the Suwannee, and I've been on multiple boating and outing trips on the Suwannee and on the tributaries of the Suwannee, including the Dead River, which is a tributary of the Alapaha. Multiple expeditions on the Suwannee itself, as both the former and current pipeline crossing sites. And are you a member of Walls Coalition? I'm one of the charter members since 2012. At the moment, I'm the president and the, also the chair of the uh, Public Relations Committee and um, of the Pipeline Committee, which deals with a number of matters, such as agricultural purchases by corporations from elsewhere, including Bill Gates. We're trying to find out what he's up to. Belt off the wastewater downflows, which go down to with the Coochie into the Swanee, and of course the Sable Trail pipeline, which is taking a lot of our time. Uh, in addition to being a president, are you on any, do you hold any committee chairs? Um, yes, well, as, as I mentioned, the Public Relations Committee and the Pipeline Committee, um, and uh, we'd really rather be spending a lot of time on other matters, but this pipeline thing is, is affecting all that we do because we're having to allocate a lot of resources to it when we'd rather be doing water trails. I'm not the chair, but I'm on both the water trail committees for the Alapa River Water Trail, which we have published the brochure for in June. It's actually one of the exhibits that we wanted to bring that into evidence. And the Withcoochee and Little River Water Trail, which we have uh, started forming and has kind of been slowed down by having to deal with this pipeline thing, there are adverse effects on our organization by the pipeline as well as on our individual members. I can say more about that if you like. Well, no, no, that's um, sufficient for the question. Which is there weren't any theory going on. <laughs> <laughs> but it, um, You familiar with the reamended petition for administrative hearing filed in this case? All too familiar. Did you participate in preparing that petition? I did. Were you the? Uh, did you, would you consider yourself the primary author? Uh, I would not. I would consider Deanna Marigold the primary author of the original petition, and I uh, assisted in expanding and improving it to uh, meet the various. Uh, Objections raised by the, the uh, other parties. And is your organization, uh, Walls Coalition Inc., um, funded by its membership? Uh, it is funded by its membership. It also gets uh, occasional contributions from foundations. And in fact, just like last night, I learned that we're getting a substantial contribution from the Sierra Club to help defray the legal um, expenses for this very case. Judge, I object and move to strike. I mean, whether he, he gets money from his members or someone else is really not relevant to anything in this case. No, I would respond, Your Honor, that uh, counsel to um, the gentleman's far left uh, questioned, I think, almost every member. Not, I think he missed one, but with regard to membership fees, making it a relevant matter. I thought all those questions were. Thank you, Honor. You're familiar with Exhibit A to the petition, the re re amended petition? I believe that's the list of members, of yes, some members, members in Hamilton and Swan County, if I recall correctly. Right. Were you present in the hearing room when Deanna Merkel was asked questions about the membership roster? I was. Based on your knowledge as the president of this organization, was uh, Ms. Merkel, uh, would you agree with the response that she provided? Uh, Objection, sorry. asking him to comment on other witnesses' testimony. In the interest of repeating the, the questions, I'm trying to corroborate. Your Honor, I mean, 
You're on. <laughs> no one has disputed this miracle's testimony. There's no reason to bolster it. Is there? You can, uh, add, you can add something new. I'll add. I, 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 the same ground. I thought I could think it was uh, subject to uh, certain objections, and so it might be a benefit to petitioner to bolster to a. Rather just to reinforce it? Everything, I believe everything she said. Okay. Uh, so you can just add to, add to that if you want to. Mm -hmm. All right, is that correct to understand your, your response to me? Uh, that, uh, do you have anything to add to what you heard? Does any other members uh, come to your recollection that Ms. Merkel did not identify? Well, I'm not on the membership committee, so I don't specifically keep track of the members. I know there are more members, as the page itself says, beyond the ones listed there and beyond the ones that uh, she listed. The ones that she listed are, to my knowledge, correct. Now, uh, the number keeps growing because a number of these activities that we're doing, in particular, one big thing, as you heard earlier, is when we, uh, first when we became a waterkeeper affiliate, and then when we added the upper spawning sure, territory. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Porter. But again, what happens in the future is irrelevant to standing in this case. I'm about the future. Well, you, you had, the question was uh, about other members, and you said you are una unable to identify members that this miracle didn't identify. You think there are more, but you can't identify. Mm -hmm. So let's see if that has a proper answer to the question. You can move on. Are there other activities of Wall's coalition in addition to the ones that you uh, have already informed the court of? Jeff, and you're on the relevance, unless you're going to tie this to this proceeding somehow. Thank you, Council. Uh, are there other activities that take place along any uh, waterways near the uh, proposed installation of the Sable Pipeline Trail that your organization? Um, has participated in other than the ones you've already shared with the court? Well, certainly. Invasive species monitoring, for example, we've seen invasive species that exist in the natural gas pipeline crossing, and we uh, don't want those to appear in other pipeline peers, and of course, water quality testing and monitoring, which is a core function of the water people affiliates such as ourselves. Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay. How long has uh, your organization been a water keeper's affiliate? Ooh, specific states. Uh, your honor, relevance. No, the relevance, your honor, being that it, uh, 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 it elevates the uh, status of the organization as not just being a, a local club, but it's actually part of a larger enterprise. Status isn't a function of standing? Yeah, it's not. That doesn't matter. Okay. You would exhibit J to the reamended petition. It's titled Appendix J, Suwannee River Water Management District Die Test. Yes. And for what purpose was that attached to the petition? Objection relevance. Purpose of attaching exhibits to a petition were at the hearing. Got to be, if you want to talk about it, it's got to be introduced to your company. Mm -hmm. Oops. If I can ask the uh, witness to look at Exhibit J. Would you help me to the petition, re-amended petition? Does that resemble an Exhibit J to the petition, sir? It does. And um, what was uh, Wall's coalition's intent in including that as part of the petition? Objection relevance. Um, 
was, uh, do you participate in the decision to include that as an exhibit? Objection relevance. Must have supported something you said in the petition, but uh, that's that's a different question altogether than presenting it here now. Is the Walls Watershed Coalition a nonprofit organization? It is. Do you know what IRS status it has? Objection on irrelevance. I think there's a stipulation isn't there about that. Kind of thing? That is true. Do you know the mission statement of uh, does water cold water? Coalition have a mission statement? Uh, the mission of the Walls Watershed Coalition is conservation, is to advocate for conservation and stewardship of the Withkuchi Lap of Little and Upper Swanee River systems in South Georgia and North Florida through citizens, through, through uh, citizen activities. I think I left out a few words, but that's basically it. And has your argument uh, you stated before that your organization has been distracted from an original mission? Or not? Let me start that. Uh, in what way has the proposed pipeline affected your organization, if not already stated? Well, um, defending um, the, our, our, the, our watersheds and the underlying aquifer from any sort of threat is of course within the core mission, but this particular item is taking so many resources that it is indeed having adverse effects on other things that are also within our core mission, such as completing water trails, investigating in, uh, corporate purchases of agricultural land that could affect water issues, and even the uh, testing of uh, water quality and quantity in the invasive species testing. These are all being adversely affected by having to spend so many resources on this one project. Does uh, your coalition publish a paper of any sort? It publishes a monthly newsletter, and of course, as I think I mentioned, we published a uh, brochure for the Blackwater River Water Trail. Does your coalition maintain a website for its members? It does. Does your coalition publish any any maps? Well, there are maps in the paper, Alapa River Water Trail brochure, and there are many maps online for the water trail, other the other water trail, the Fuji, and many other purposes. And does your coalition facilitate meetings with other uh, like-minded organizations? I, I don't know why there's not objection to this. This is also <laughs> All right, I have nothing further for Mr. Porter. The only thing I know of in the law that uh, an association of members can use for standing other than the uh, the way its individual members are affected is when the association itself owns property. Then if that property is affected, then they can have standing uh, as property owners. Uh, but that's it. So not, not anything else associated with the walls would give standing other than uh, the effect on its individual members. So whether it slows them down, interferes with their activities, that would be relevant. Oh. Um. Has your organization investigated, uh, rather, has your organization owned any real property? It does not. Further from Mr. Gordon. No, you're on. No, you're on. Thank you, sir. Any other petitioners? Uh, 